Hello and welcome to the third part of the demo series regarding the Office Open XML format in Documents Core Pack. This time I'd like to talk about grouping, uh, which means that I'd like to group the line items of a quote. Um, I'm using the template we created in part one. And if you remember, what we had was a table in the middle of the document showing up all line items, like this chopper style bucket, and a, a total at the bottom. Okay, um, Let's take a look into the structure within CRM first. So, when taking a look into the, the quote I used before, um, we can see that we have five products. And there are basically two different types of products, which uh, could be a wheel or a helmet, so called components, or the bikes themselves, where we have the city simple, the chopper style, and the mountain standard. So, if you open the wheel, for example, we can see that the subject refers to the components. And on the other hand, when opening one of the bikes, added to this quote, we will see that this one refers to bikes. So what we could do in a template is group the line items per product subject. So how to do that? The first thing that we would have to do is to insert the field that we want to use for grouping. And as mentioned before, this is uh, the subject and on the subject entity it's the title. So what I'll do is just insert it. Once this is done, um, we can mark this field and in the toolbar at the top we can find an expandable option called grouping. So when selecting the field and extend this one, we can see that we have the option to mark as grouping field or mark a sum field. We'll do this later on. And once this is done, we can see that automatically a grouping header and footer gets generated. So at the bottom of this table, we've got the group. Yeah, the group ends here. And above, um, we've got the header of each group, so we can format it the way we want. I'll make it bold and maybe a bit larger. Okay, and we can have a first test by saving the template and loading CRM data. Therefore, we use the Choose CRM Data button, choose one quote, and what we get is uh, a list of, of the line items grouped by the subject. So we have three bikes at the top, and this is followed by the two components, the wheel and the helmet. Yeah, it doesn't look so pretty at this point, so um, uh, we can use all formatting options to make it a bit more friendly. So I'll change the colors of the group header and the group footer. Um, another very common requirement is that we want to have subtotals of each group. So um, and this this total should should appear in the group footer. So what I'll do is add a total, split this column, so that we can insert the group amount at the right side. Split the column, maybe adjust it to fit the table. And what we have to do next is to mark a sum field, and this should be a money field that should be summed up for each of those groups. So we'll click into this field and again expand the grouping option and mark as sum field. Okay, that's all we need to do. And as we want to have the, the sum appear in the grouping footer, we have to copy this field to the footer. Let's align this to the right, and we can go ahead and have another try. Again, I'm saving the document and loading a quote with the Choose CRM Data option. Okay, and what we have now is the groups as we had before, but in the group footer we will see the total of each group, which makes a total of 12,800 for the bikes. Um, the number is not well formatted, so um, we can go back to the template. Just click into the money field, choose field properties, and choose the type that we want to make it look look alike. So let's choose that one. Okay, anything else? No, I think that's all. Let's have another test. Okay, this looks better. So we've got the group and a 
beautiful formatted way. Uh, maybe one last thing is that we um, still have the subject of each line item appearing within the table rows. Um, but once the grouping field is placed, it's not mandatory to keep the, the attribute in the table. So we can just remove it, make a final alignment and have a final try. Okay, well, I think that's all. We've got the, the quote with grouping ready. Looks quite good. So um, as you can see, um, grouping and summing on it, building group sums is basically just a matter of um, choosing the serum attributes that should be used, mark a grouping field, then format, of course, the grouping header at footer, and the same for the sum field, which should be money field and was the extended amount in our case. Um, that's it for now. Uh, the next time I will talk about how to include pictures or use pictures within such templates, for example, product pictures. Hope to see you there. Bye.